Donald Trump unveiled the cast of next season's Celebrity Apprentice. Well, I was right there with Trump this morning as he came up with a new twist. Next season's all-star cast will feature 13 celebs who we previously fired on the show, plus one previous winner, Brett Michaels. What is the biggest surprise about the upcoming season of Celebrity Apprentice other than the fact that it's the first all-star Celebrity Apprentice? Well, I think the fact that everybody, even though they went through a lot, they all wanted to be on the show. They just wanted to be. And you take a look at Brett Michaels. He won, and he wanted to be back, which I think is a mistake, but that's okay. Wait, did he just say it's a mistake for Brett Michaels to come back to the show? With me in New York, Janet Hubert. We all love Janet on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air as Aunt Viv, and we are loving her in her hit show, Janet Hubert, Broadway to TV, now back to me, now at the Lori Beachman Theater in New York. Great to have you here, Janet. Thank you. In Hollywood tonight, soap opera star Sean Kanan. I am so pleased to say that Sean is joining General Hospital at the end of the month. But if you can't wait to see Sean, you can pick up this book. It's terrific. It is the must-get cooking and dining book, The Modern Gentleman. Congratulations, Sean, on that, by the way. Good to have you on G8. Thanks, AJ. So apparently, all of the all-stars wanted back on Celebrity Apprentice. We're talking about some real former Celebrity Apprentice powerhouses here. Brett Michaels, Penn Jillette, LaToya Jackson, Gary Busey, even Lil Jon. They all wanted in on this all-star encore. Sean... I'm thinking after the fights, the backstabbing, the cold-blooded scheming that goes on inside and outside of right. that boardroom, it's a big surprise to me that all these people wanted to do it again. What about you? I, listen, first of all, I can't get enough, uh, enough Gary Busey. I mean, the madman well, yeah. poet is, is fantastic. Um, you know, he really has become a national treasure. And anytime he's involved <laughs> in anything, I'm glued to the TV. So uh, I think it's going to be great. I mean, here's the thing, AJ. In the beginning, all these people had very limited experience in the world of reality television. And now they've gone through it, and they're seasoned veterans. And I think it really is going gonna, gonna to up the... Uh, up the level of competition, it's going to raise the bar. And I think people will be tuning so in for... So we should see some really, really crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, people will be tuning in just for Gary Busey's teeth oh, alone. No. They're amazing. <laughs> and, and when right. I asked the stars today I'm sensing, what I'm they thought... I'm sensing endorsements. Yeah, I, uh, absolutely. Well, but I asked the stars today what they thought was the biggest surprise about the All-Star Apprentice, and everybody agreed with what you heard Donald say to me, the fact that Brett Michaels decided after winning he was going to come back to do this encore season. So watch what Brett revealed to me about saying, yeah, I'll do the show again. So there's no fear of losing that would have kept you from doing it again. No, I don't. I, and here's my here's my thought. I don't I don't think like that. The way the way I do stuff, I go into it. I live in the moment, and I'm fighting for the moment. And even on this show, I do not want to lose. But even if you lose, you win because you've won money and awareness. And 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 even on this show, it ups. I look at the competition. Pendulet, Dennis. These people are fighters, man. There's a reason he's a superstar athlete. There's a reason he's one of the best comedians. There's a reason they're here. But I'll tell you what, it ups my game. The more competitive, the more competitive I get. Yeah, Janet, it's hard to argue with Brett there. No matter what, he, he really does come back a winner, doesn't he? I tell you, though, AJ, the thing that bothers me about The Celebrity Apprentice is this. It's become, I kind of miss The Old Apprentice where people were not celebrities because it's kind of now an event as far as what it is is who's got the richest friends. It's not about yeah. um, the charity. It's about who can I get more money from. And some celebrities don't have rich friends with which they can call on and ask. So I think it's a little unfair when you've got people People like that, where they've got famous friends who can, you know, afford to put down five thousand dollars for one pizza. Personally, I don't really have any friends like that. That you know. That's oh, what Janet, it's you're lying. I'm sure you do. But listen, no, I, I agree with you. I do feel like these charities do get exposure that they certainly otherwise would not have. So I don't want to discount the importance of Absolutely. that. Absolutely. But I, you know, I would like to see the old apprentice come back. I should point I out, Omarosa is one of the all stars, and remember, she was on the original season of the non celebrity apprentice, and that made her a star in that's her own true. right. That she true. will be one to look out for. And I am sure there will be more surprises to come when the 13th season of Celebrity Apprentice fires up in March. So we have to wait around to see that on NBC.